Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and here's another performance tip video. Uh, it's really handy feature. Whenever you have a scene with a lot of images and you load the scene, it takes an extra bit about, uh, of time to load all those images. And like so, say you have a world where you want the user to have a you know a random background um, every time they play. So you you know the the machine has to load all those backgrounds before it gets to the scene, and that could take you know eight, nine, ten seconds to do so. So I'm going to show you a cool trick that'll prevent the system from having to load all those images or backgrounds before the scene starts and cut your load time down a lot. So as you can see, I have a scene here, and every time. I hit this button, it changes the background to a random background. And so this scene will have to load all those images before it gets into the scene, which will take some time. So what I have is I have an actor here, that's the button that changes the attribute to a random number. And then on the background, based on those numbers, I have a change image uh, behavior. So if Random background equals 1, change image to this one. If it equals 2, change image to this one. Now that's the problem. When the, when the scene is loading, it's, it looks for any change images, and it gets all those images ready for the scene, which takes the time. So we're going to go in, and we're going to do something different. We're going to go change attribute, and we're going to change self.image to, and then the image name. And that image there is bg1.png. And then I'm going to delete that. And then we're going to delete this one. And I copy this down. And we're going to change that to bg2.png. I'm just going to quickly do that for all of these. So I'm going to delete the change image. Use the change attribute. Now you want to be careful. Um, this is case sensitive. So if you know have a capital B in your image name, you're going to have to use it here. So try to be very simple with these images. I'm going to delete this one. So BG4. Two more here. And there we go. So now I'm going to hit preview. And you'll see that the image still changed just like they should to all the different random images. But the difference is these images don't have to load when it's switching to this scene. Now you don't want to do that for all your images. If you have 30, 40 images, you know, you don't want to do that. You try not to do it for anything that's going to be seen right away, except for maybe a background image. Um, but um, it's a great way to do things and it saves a lot of um, loading times for your scenes. So I really recommend giving that a shot. It may work for you. And uh, head on over to GS Helper for more cool videos and free downloads and I'll talk to you soon.